Muslims around Indonesia are demanding Basuki Cahaya Purnama, better known as Ahok, face justice. During his recent re-election campaign, Jakarta's first Christian Chinese governor questioned the use of a Quranic verse that deals with non-Muslim leaders. I feel hurt, disappointed, and I hope the government, the president, and our highest institutions will treat his case as honest as possible without looking at his position. Earlier this month, more than 100,000 people took to the street to demand Ahok, an ally of President Joko Widodo, be brought to court. Dozens were injured when protesters fought with police. President Widodo has said his political opponents were behind the protests. A man who doesn't want to be identified tells Al Jazeera that organizers from the Islamic Defenders Front paid him around $20 to take part in the protest, a sum larger than his daily income. I was given around $20, others got 15 or even 5 Even though I joined the protest, I will still vote for Ahok because he is the best choice for Jakarta. Looking at what he has done so far, building infrastructure and fighting corruption, I don't mind that he has a different religion. The leader of the Islamic Defenders Front was not available to comment on the allegations of payments. Former President Susilo Bambang Yudhoyono has been accused of igniting the protests after he urged Indonesians to continue rallying against Ahok. His son has joined the race for governor. After numerous threats against his life, Ahok has decided to campaign indoors. Despite a police investigation and dropping ratings, Ahok is still the frontrunner in Jakarta's governor's elections. While his opponents say they won't rest until Ahok is in prison, the incumbent governor himself says he won't stop campaigning. I believe police is very professional, so I will obey whatever the decision. I believe I am not guilty, and that's why we wait for the police decision. Observers say the case against the governor is an important test case for Indonesia. Although nearly 90% of the population is Muslim, the country officially treats all religions equally. What can happen is that Indonesia will be divided, not only between different religious groups, but also between different ethnic groups. This could even lead to killings like we have seen in the past, because people will start judging each other based on their religion. In an effort to unite the country, President Joko Widodo has met religious groups and strengthened his relationship with police and military. On Wednesday, police will decide if Ahok's case will be taken to court. Muslim groups have announced that they will take to the streets again if they're not happy with the outcome. Stab Fasen, Al Jazeera, Jakarta.